Press Control Automation. Today we are going to look at starting reactor. All right? Yeah. So we have here our starting reactor. Starting reactor um, operates the same way as an auto transformer. Just that there's a slight difference in them. Okay? Yeah. With starting reactor, it only has two contactors. That is the starting contactor and then the running contactor. All right? And then also the the reactor itself. Okay? So let me take you through the process, all right, or the components. Now here we have the starting contactor. This is the starting contactor. This is the running contactor. Okay. We have our timer here, all right. And then these are these are the tappings or the reactor itself. Okay. The starting reactor. Now, so over here, you see we have um, three tappings. All right. I told you in my earlier video in the auto transformer that. All auto transformers and starting reactors, they all consist of the same tappings, three tappings. Okay, that is 50%, all right, 50%, and then 65%, and then 80%. All right, so this is um, winding one, winding two, and then winding three. All right, so these are the input to the windings, all right, and then these are the outputs. The difference between a starting reactor and also, and also. Um, an auto transformer is that the starting reactor doesn't have a star contactor, but the auto transformer consists of a star contactor, all right? So that is the only difference in it, okay? So these are the contactors, all right? Yeah, when you start it, okay, the starting contactor will energize first, all right? And then the timer will also energize, it will start counting. So after the preset time, all right? Um, the timer will switch off this starting contactor and then it will start the running contactor, all right? And then it will put the full voltage onto the motor, okay? So this is basically the operation of a starting reactor, all right? So now I'm going to operate it, all right? For us to see how it works, okay? I'm going to press on the run button, all right? So when I press on the run button, the first contactor, okay? That is this one, all right? It will energize. Okay, the timer to also energize. All right. So after the preset time, okay, the run contactor would come in to energize, and then the starting contactor or the start contactor would energize. All right. So let's see how how it how it goes. Okay. So I am pressing on it. I am starting it. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. It is inside. You see that? So after the preset time, you see that the starting contactor has gone off and then the running contactor has come in. It has energized, all right? So basically, that is how it operates, okay? Yeah, so in my next video, okay, we are going to learn about the controls and then the power diagram of this starting reactor, all right? Yeah, so I just explained to you the physical components, okay? So I'll 